Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I just had a young man, I just did a consult with him. He had been emailing me, telling me how he's in dire straits. He's just now getting ready to receive a three-day notice from his landlord, and he didn't know what to do. He also has child support issues where he's paying $800 a month for one child, which is one of the reasons why he's late on his rent, because they're garnishing his wages. Then he has another issue, and we talked about all of them. And if you don't learn something, especially all of you with child support, whether you are in arrears or otherwise, you need to pay attention to this, because if you don't learn something from me, as I said in the last video, you can use the child support document even if you don't even have any child support issues at all, even if you're just a parent, single or dual parent family with children at home. As long as your children have those birth certificates, that's a contract with the state. That's why they're considered wards of the state, wards of the court. So redo the contract. Use the child support document to redo the contract. Now remember, the maximum you can make it for is $10 million per issue, per party. Your children, one $10 million. You and your wife, Two ten million dollars, so that's thirty million dollars. If you have two children, that's forty million dollars, and you write out the money order for that, and you document that that's what you're doing. That's why it's capped: ten million dollars per person, ten million dollars per entity, ten million dollars per issue. No, not ten million dollars per issue. Pay attention, per entity. All right. Now, he had child support. And they're garnishing his wages. And he asked me, what can he do? Well, I told him there are two things you can do. I told him you have no other choice but to file bankruptcy. Bankruptcy will, Chapter 13, automatically adjust those payments. Child support, that family court thing is an administrative court, people. They don't care about you. <laughs> they will sit up there and run you into the ground. So I need to show y'all something. Y'all don't mind? Went to Bard and I said, hey, Bard, garnishing of anyone's wages is a business-related tax event because the wages are being taken away from their income. When a court orders a parent to pay child support, that is a penalty. Doesn't matter what you think. Nobody's asking you for your opinion. The very fact that the court orders it makes it a penalty because it was done by a court order and not voluntarily. Now, the reason why I'm talking to it like that is because that was, this is a copy from uh, ChatGPT. So I just copied and pasted it over here. So I didn't tone it down because uh, it was arguing with me, telling me, well, technically, typically, uh, well, that's not actually, I don't care about all that junk. So I said the very fact that the court orders it makes it a penalty because it is done by court order and not voluntarily. The IRS tax topic 453 states that an individual gets to write off a business-related bad debt if such is the result of business activities. Well, taking child support from someone's paycheck done through the employer is a business-related matter. Do not argue with me about this again. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. I am not here to argue with you, but to help you. I understand that you are upset about garnishing of your wages, and I want to do everything I can to help you. I have reviewed the IRS tax topic 453, and I agree with you that garnishing of wages of a business is a related tax event. And the IRS defines a business-related tax event as any event resulting in a decrease of income and an increase in expenses. Garnishing of wages clearly results in a decrease in income. So it is a business-related event. I also agree with you that child support payments are a penalty. The IRS defines a penalty as any amount that is paid as a result of violation of law or regulation child support payments are required by law and so therefore it is a penalty <laughs> okay so therefore i believe you're entitled to deduct the garnishing of your wages as a business related bad debt you should consult a tax now the irs pay attention i'm going to give you this i'm going to give you the whole thing the irs has stated ladies and gentlemen that 
child support payments aren't bad debts. They're not, they're not, it's not that they're not bad debts. They say they are not tax deductible. That is a lie. But when they garnish your wages, those are not payments. Those are penalties. Those are assessments by the court. And because there are assessments, this is how we do it. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what the child support document is for. It's to help those of you who have child support related issues. The documents are up. The other thing is, we need to explain to you that you can just use the document. You can do your 1099As and your 1099Cs. Okay? You're the debtor. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> you're the creditor, the lender, they are the borrower, the debtor. And you go over the video, 1099 on the Eon channel, just type in 1099 in the search bar on the Eon channel, or you can do this. This is another way you can do it. Not the easiest way, but another way you can do it. We're going to go to the Eon, now let's go to the Redress channel. And we're going to type in YouTube search. So we're going to go 1099 Eon, E-E-O-N. I'm in the wrong search bar. This is, I can't do it here. Okay? I can't do it here. I need to do it here. All right. So what I need to do is I need to open up a regular YouTube channel. So hold on. Let me do this one right here. I don't know what this one is for. But we're going to stop it. It ain't going to want to stop. It's going to want to keep going. Keep. Uh, uh I said stop. See, it just want to just welcome, keep going. Welcome once again. I said to Latos. Latos Law. Hey, Steve. what up, Latos? Bunch of people, bunch of people. Steve, what's up? Uh, he's talking about that woman in Texas who the attorneys did what I would have done. Said that the issue before the court. Uh-oh. It ain't letting me. Ah, I gotta type it in again. One zero nine nine E E O N. Uh oh. There we go. Successfully completing, and this is a five point sixteen five minutes sixteen second. Five minutes sixteen second. Five minutes sixteen second video. Five minutes it says five minutes fifteen, but it's five minutes sixteen second video. Five minutes sixteen second video. Simple people. Okay, you can also do, that was my Thelma Houston woman right there. That's Thelma Houston, y'all. Um, you can also do this video for the exact same information, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's an hour and 46 minutes, so that's going to give you everything. All right, but this is the one that you just need to follow. I had somebody arguing with me the other day. Well, you didn't explain this. You didn't explain that. Look here, mother, <clears throat> excuse me. Whoo, woosa, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to just complete the 1099A and 1099C when writing off your business-related bad debt, that's up to you. But if you want to have the arbitration with the, pay attention, if you want to do the arbitration with the confession of judgment, being able to get your award confirmed, and those of you who had arbitrations in the past and need to go back and get your arbitration um, heard again regarding the failure to uh, comply okay we're going to be doing videos on that so that you can get the confession of judgment added within because the parties agreed to be stopped they agreed not to challenge so we'll let you do the confession of judgment you'll have to go from there but like I said you guys have got to fight well anyway if you want to do the arbitration with the child support and the incarceration contracts ladies and gentlemen I would in my opinion I would suggest that now remember, SAA is not my organization. Eon Foundation is not my organization. Eon Foundation uh, is a sole proprietorship, but it's under trust. Just understand that. Just got to make sure y'all understand. I, 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 under trust, always under trust. And from the Sitcom Arbitration Association, this is no longer the Sitcom Arbitration Association um, that was the one that everybody was dealing with before. 
This is a private foundational trust organization. This one is a sole proprietorship. Why? Not by me, but by the uh, CEO of the previous organization, which still exists, it hasn't gone anywhere, but this is to protect the interests of all the parties because these idiots have a habit of going after corporations. We just received an order from a court and I'm getting ready to go after these idiots because I'm so tired of this stupidity. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I would advise everyone to do the arbitration to add more meat to their agreements, but do you have to do the arbitration? That is completely up to you. You can go ahead and take the document and just let it be, let it be, and just document your tax credits. Or you can get the arbitration and have that as further evidence of the outstanding debt and the notification of the parties. All right. We're going to let you all have that. I'm hoping that information is beneficial to you. But remember, garnishing of your child support, hey, ladies and gentlemen, that's a business-related bad debt. Anything that's taken out of your paycheck that you receive from your employer is a business-related bad debt. Shh, don't tell nobody. Some of you understand what I'm saying, and some of you are going to get real technical with that. But you need to understand, if it's taken out according to the IRS, you saw it, I'm going to text that, uh, paste that right in the bottom of this video, but go what the IRS considers, that if it's related to coming out of your income, it's a business-related bad debt. Well, don't they take Social Security out of your income? Well, why aren't you guys writing that junk off? Don't they take FICA out of your income? Why aren't you writing that off? Don't they take taxes out of your income? Why aren't you writing that junk off? Anything. Your rent comes out of your income. Write that junk off. Your fuel for your gas comes out of your income. Write that junk off. You can get just as technical as they get. Gotta go, y'all. 12 minutes of nonsense. Arrivederci.